Welcome back to the Paranormal Review, and today we're going to review a video called Elk Hunters Encounter Bigfoot Live Footage, uploaded by Find Bigfoot. If this is a hoax, then these two guys are very good actors. Now, if you guys have the original link, uh, I cannot find it anywhere. There's so many reposts of this one, like a lot of other ones, that I cannot find the original. So please send me the original so I can give credit where credit is due. But let's watch this video. There, there's some very suspicious things about this video. Um, and before I start, let me just say this is a uh, criticism or a critique. So it is lawful by uh, copyright standards for me to do it. Anyways, guys, um, we're going to watch this. But there's some suspicious things that they say here in the beginning. Like he's talk they're talking about seeing the bear stand up on two legs and then they realize it's something else. And then they start chasing it. And it, this guy over here is going to explain that he wasn't until he saw the brown that... And then it came out, and then he saw that it was a Bigfoot. But it's not brown. It is dark black. So that's suspicious to me, because um, why wouldn't he say it's black if it was black, right? He says it's brown, even though it's black. So here we go. What's the last GPS? Our last GPS was, I think, 4.6. So we're 4.6 from the truck, and that's the closest road. I'm coming down here. I'm beat. Get my gear off. Get ready to eat. All of a sudden, Eric's like, oh, my gosh, big bear, big bear. I grab my bow. I raise up, I look down the hill, and it is the freaking tallest bear walking on two legs I've ever seen in my life. But the moment I realize, I'm like, I turn to get Eric to turn on the camera. He's already filming at that point. Yeah, I just, I, I didn't, I didn't get pushed on play. Until but when did you realize it wasn't a bear? Listen. When I realized it wasn't a bear, when we were sitting here and with the foliage and everything, the undergrowth here, it looked like a bear because all I seen was the brown coming through. The brown. But then as it, as I, as I got the camera and stood up and I, you got me, you grabbed your bow. Um, when it stopped right there at that pine, when it stopped at that pine right next to us, it stared at us, which seemed like five minutes. Yeah. All right, guys, they say that it stared for five minutes, but he only has like half a second before it runs into the bushes. Um, another thing that I find suspicious about this is, come on, you just saw a huge Bigfoot. Are you really going to be sitting out here in the forest? I know your hunters are your buddy with you and you have bows. Perhaps they have a, a big revolver or a different rifle as well, but I'd be a little more scared than this, <laughs> even with a gun. It was staring, but for a long time at that point, I knew it wasn't a bear. Okay. All right, one thing I really hate about this footage is that reaction, okay? He turns around and rips the camera out of the other guy's hands, which ruined the shot and gave the creature, whoever was hoaxing the, the suit, if it was a suit, a chance to get away without being seen, okay? The other thing I think that's suspicious is he actually says, give me the camera. If I was going to grab the camera from someone that was filming, I wouldn't ask them for it in this situation. I would just grab it and run. Are you going to process in your head? Grab it. Uh, give me the camera. How, did he even know his, his friend was filming? He looks, instead of looking at the ground or looking for the backpack or looking for the camera, he looks directly at the camera and says, give me the camera. That's suspicious to me because in the in the thing he says, you know, in, in the, when they're talking, he explains that he didn't know that he was filming yet. And then he turned around and he was already filming. But he doesn't turn around and look for the camera. He turns around and looks straight at the camera. For me, that sound that that reeks of um, set, a setup right there. I was running down this hill, running, 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 and we don't see anything after that. Okay, no footprints, no hair, not even really any tw you know broken twigs or something you'd expect. Where's his friend? His friend just let him run down there by himself, or what? I and now he's back. He says that he tripped. I told you that was no freaking bear. Alright, so where... I'm really confused here. <laughs> this video starts out very suspicious, and it gets even more suspicious. They're just making up stuff now, because... They only have it on film for like half a second. They said that it was there for five minutes staring at him. If you had a Bigfoot staring at you for more than a second and you saw it, your camera's coming out and you're filming the whole encounter, hopefully. Okay? Apparently, these guys waited till four minutes and 57 seconds to turn the camera on. 
because it was there for five minutes, right? Staring at him. It's hard to hear. It's almost like a GoPro. It's so like white English. I'm not sure what we're supposed to be listening for, but I don't even know what that was. Did you get it on film? Yeah, yeah, I got it on film. I know I got it on film before you took before you took the camera away from me. You ripped that camera out of my hand. I See so there. So they're making this huge emphasis about him grabbing the camera and that he knows he got it for sure before that. It's all, I think this is a huge, elaborate act. And they're pretty good actors, but the fact that you ripped the camera out of the hand, you had the conscious of mind, the thought process to think, and you know, seeing a Bigfoot and thinking in your mind, give me the camera, give me the camera, and grabbing the camera, already knowing the camera was going, right? Even though in the previous footage, he says that he didn't know the camera was going. So why is he looking at straight at the guy's face instead of reaching for wherever the camera should be, like a backpack or wherever it would have been? Um, and then just, I don't know. He says that it's brown, but then in fact, the creature is black. And then in fact, that they were seeing it for five minutes or before, you know, the fact that they were watching it for four minutes and 57 seconds before they actually got the camera rolling, that that's suspicious to me as well. I got up and I caught that that little glimpse right down there in that canyon. I could see him running it, and that was running. It had to have been running at least two to three times faster than I can run, and I can run fast, but I've never seen anything run that fast in my life. <laughs> Freaking awesome! That's awesome. So who, who knows? Maybe we'll get another shot at it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Tim, big bear. Yeah, big bear. I don't know what it was. <laughs> I really don't. <laughs> All right. I want to look at the footage one more time. All right, so let's look at this, okay? The only thing that's suspicious is the only footage that we have is the thing standing behind this this tree here and behind this branch here. We have no really clear shot at the head. I did try to zoom in a little bit on two different frames. And as you can see, it's too pixelated to really see much, but it does seem like a very shiny face. And the hair in the video is very, like, uniform and black. I mean, that's very shiny for being a natural uh, face. But just look, look how uniform black that creature is. It's not brown. Why would you say it's brown when it's actually black? And just the reaction. Give me the camera. Look, pay attention. He, he, he turns around and he goes, give me the camera. Then he grabs the camera instead of just grabbing the camera and running. Give me the camera. I mean, that's just very... It just looks like a hoodie or a, or some kind of a Bigfoot suit with a shiny mask on it, guys. Anyways, I'm not going to concentrate too much more on this one because this one is more of a hoax to me than a lot of other ones. But anyways, guys, until next time, please subscribe. Leave me some comments telling me what you think. I know you're going to be kind of pissed that I don't think this is real because you guys say that I don't think anything is real. But uh, look through my channel. There's plenty of videos I think that are pretty legitimate. And uh, we'll talk to you guys later. Please send me your footage if you want me to uh, review that. And please subscribe. Um, we'll talk to you guys later.